like you got that thing that I've been looking for And you got a whole lot of gold And that's really turning me on You are, you are, you are, you are, you are Everything that I dreamed of Now I can paint a picture you are... Oh, sorry <laughs> No, so there Yeah, Hi, back again. I know it's been quite a while. Um, this video is not going to be that long, but it'll be very kind of an in-depth video about something I like to call humanoids. So this concept is just basically around, you know, if in the future, with the advancement of technology and artificial intelligence, of course, if humanoids can actually replace, you know, the concept of loved ones, as in, you know, mothers, fathers, friends, other people, the family, or even spouses. So that's all I to talk about. So there's a film called um, AI by Steven Spielberg, favourite director, um, called Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. And I think this is set in the year 21... 100 so 2100 and it's just basically focuses around a couple who the wife was barren or infertile she can't have children and, and they went through a whole adoption process but weirdly enough not an adoption of a human child it was of a robot child this robot child could bleed it could um, blink it could read it could run it had soft light skin it had the only difference was it didn't really have human emotions so you know i just thought about it and i thought hmm like in the future what about if humanoids can actually replace loved ones what about if we can actually replace humans or with robots so let's say you had a loved one that died would you feel comfortable of programming a robot that acts exactly like your dead relative or friend and looks exactly like it at the same time is that something that could probably happen in the future I'm not sure hope not um, the only ethics behind that is robots don't have souls so in regards to emotion that probably would have to be programmed um, so possibly in the future we could actually be living in a world where robots can actually be replaced by humans and vice versa so I don't know what would you what's your kind of take on it? I would love to know you know what I'm talking about now is going to be a vlog called humanoids what I'm going to obviously um, name it so i got a bit tongue twisted there and it's actually going to be a two or three part series um i probably would have guys on the panel so well discussing you know how would they feel just to have maybe a spouse robot spouse to kind of replace them and how would they feel if that was happening and vice versa and yeah it's just going to be about that uh, the biggest question people come up to me asking is yasmin can robots take over the world i don't think we're very ne near to that happening i think it's like movies such as the terminator or i robot people kind of being a bit worried but i don't think that's anything to worry about yes there are robots used in the army as you know, mass weapons of destruction but i don't think they're any near to coming to the public or destroying human life however like knowing that we are kind of advancing in technology there are some computers that are able to kind of code themselves but they code themselves and rectify any errors in codes to help the government or the world at the moment i don't think it's for like bad thing so I don't think we're going to have a issue to terminate or any transformers just yet unfortunately so um, another question I've been asked do robots have souls no from my knowledge they don't I mean even the whole concept around souls is slightly religious and you know robots have to be built towards your command so if you were to manage to purchase a robot in the future or some sort of humanoid any emotion that it has has to be programmed or built by yourself so in that sense I'm not sure if they have souls I think robots are developed enough to kind of we can talk to robots in regards to word recognition um, any kind of emotion that we install in the robot it can kind of have a conversation back to back and I guess some robots or humanoids will be or if not already advanced to the point where they can kind of pick up our emotion and kind of sense on that and kind of I don't know, develop some sort of conversation from there. But in regards to a robot actually making the conscious decision to be sad or happy by itself, if that hasn't been planned for it, I don't think that could happen. But, you know, I dare to be kind of corrected and I'll be really happy to see if we've advanced to a point of technology where humanoids or robots can actually just express emotion without being programmed to do so. So that would be quite good. Another question I've been asked is that, you know, withhold the concept of humanoids do you think it will be ethically right for people to marry their robots and you know weirdly enough i can see it happening you know i've heard stories about people um a fun fair owner being married to her ride i've heard people being married to trees and you know animals so i wouldn't really be surprised if they were to pass some sort of law or legislation that allows people to be married to the humanoids and that probably goes into part two of my series that i'm doing based on humanoids where the next topic would be 
can you marry the humanoid and do you think it's ethically right to be replaced by a humanoid that looks exactly like you or anything? Do you think we're very next to in the future where humanoids can be used to replace spouts or children, people that can't have children? Do you think it's right for you to adopt a humanoid in replace of a child? And how close to making humanoids as realistic as humans are we? So I really would like you to stay tuned. We'll have a variety of guest speakers kind of speaking on that and it's really great to be back thank you so much for all the love and support and you know this is just going to get bigger and bigger and stay tuned if anyone has any questions please feel free to ask me regardless of, and that's whether to my coding or human or if there's any projects that you guys would like me to do i'm really kind of eager to build a robot but i'm not sure what kind of robot to build so the person who comes up with the greatest ideas of the robots to build gets to come with me and kind of go through the steps in building that and in regard to my discussion on humanoids I want to start some sort of trend so what I want you to do in the comments is hashtag humanoids and just create some sort of debate based on do we think it's right for humanoids to be seen as humans in that sense so I really want you to start a debate on that hashtag humanoids is it right for humanoids to be treated as humans and should they legislate in marriage or adoption thank you